What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in today. Hope you're having a good weekend out there. Uh, today we're going to tackle the top five dislikes of the TRD Pro trim level. In all honesty, this was the hardest list I've ever had to do, uh, so far at least, because it's hard to find five things I dislike about this trim level, but I did my best. I came up with four. Uh, the fifth one was something that was brought up to me by one of my subscribers slash viewers. Uh, so I'm going to give him the, the number one spot will go to him because I would think it's the most important one to all of you. So let's do this. All right, so like I said, some of these are kind of dumb and easily fixable. But so for number five, I'm going to go with that center rear window right back there, which you can manually open and close. It's the sliding rear window. Okay, well, in some Tundra trims, definitely the limited, uh, there's a button. It's power to open and close. And a lot of other makes, all of them are power, no matter what trim level you get. And I just figured at this price point, which is kind of identical price point to the Limited, that could be a power sliding rear window. So that is my number five one. And this could show you the type of direction this list is going, because that's so dumb. But it's kind of a pain to reach back. You can't reach it. Um, if you have it open and it's raining, you got to pull over to close it. So I wish there was a power sliding rear window. All right, so number four for me is the seats offered in this truck. I don't know why, I just cannot get comfortable in these seats. Uh, this is my first uh, Tundra with leather. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I mean, the leather's always hot. You know, in the winter it's cold, Yeah, but that's any car you get. But for some reason, I cannot get comfortable. Short range trips, no problem, but like long rides, they hurt. And I never felt that way in the, in the cloth Tundra seats. So again, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so number four for me is gonna be the seats. Number three for me is something that I just, I don't understand and maybe I'm missing something. So if I'm missing something, help me out. But I don't understand why the TRD Pro comes with carpet floor mats. It makes no sense. Like it's an off-road related truck and carpet floor mats are the worst. So if you were getting, if like if you were off doing like a, an off-road adventure or something and you got mud all over your shoes or dirt and whatever and you bring it into the carpet floor mat, that's going to stain. You're not going to get it all out. You know, on like an all-weather floor mat, no problem. Get them right out. And even weirder than that is my TRD Off-Road Tundra came with the all-weather floor mats. Some things blow my mind. Okay, so this is the number two, which is really my number one because I can only come up with four. But I'm giving my, my number one to my viewer. So number two is the wheel and tire package on this truck. Let's start with the wheels. I don't like how the wheels on the TRD Pro are the same wheels on the TRD Off-Road. Just the only difference is, is the TRD Off-Road has like silver plating on them, but it's the same exact wheel. And the tires are also the same exact model. It's like an all-terrain Michelin. I just think like a truck like this that's supposed to be, you know, totally off-road, you know, big suspension, long travel, all that should have a more aggressive tire. And what a lot of people don't know is they actually offer a tire wheel package upgrade for I think another 3200 that comes with the BF Goodrich all terrains wrapped on a, I think it's the 17 inch TRD forged wheels, but that's not common knowledge and you never see them. But I just think the tire could be a little bit more aggressive and definitely not the same one as the TRD Off-Road. There should be a uniqueness to this truck versus any other trim level. Well, that's just me. All right, so like I said, I'm giving number one to my viewer because the viewers come first. So my number one or my viewer's number one is the lack of a locking rear differential. Again, off-road related truck should definitely have that. Um, Toyota is pretty conservative with what they give you. So I'm on the fence about it. I mean, personally for me, that wouldn't have been in my list just because when I do these likes and dislikes, it's my personal likes and dislikes. So this is a road warrior. If I was off-roading, yeah, that would be a big deal, but I'm driving to and from work and around town. Seats matter to me. The power back window matters to me. So, you know, I'm here to listen and he's definitely right. It should have that. So if, you, if I ever miss anything, don't be afraid to let me know because I'm going to add it. All right, guys, I thank you for watching today. Uh, just before I let you go, 
I'm gonna try something new this Wednesday. I'm gonna do a Q&A with some of you guys out there. So what I'm thinking is from now, when you watch this video until we'll say Tuesday night, if you wanna submit any questions to me that you want me to answer on my Wednesday video, please send them to me in the comment section to any of my videos, or you can get me on Twitter and Instagram at 100 dude 34 Just make sure you add the hashtag TD34. If I see that, I'll know you have a question and I'll select the questions that I feel like can help the whole community of Tundra owners out there and some of the ones I like more than others. So uh, I appreciate you watching. I will talk to you Wednesday and don't forget, hashtag TD34, Instagram, Twitter, or comment below. Thanks for watching, guys.